You're gonna get fucking arrested. I won't get arrested, put in jail for killing some damn body. I, Gordon, this is the worst restaurant I ever worked in in my life. Practices are the problem. Right. The sort of, the way that everyone's walking around in denial. They are, but I'm there's not. No, but there's no standards, though. You're not maintaining a level that they yeah. deserve. Yeah, I know that. I know that, Sean. So why have you become like a zombie and following her motions? I'm not. I was, I'm trying to fix it. Have you it. given up? No, I have not given up. I have not given up. You're just as bad as she is if you don't put your foot down and say no. I, I tell her no. No, 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 no. And she keeps on doing it. Someone needs to draw a line. I have drawn a line. It doesn't matter. I can only do so much, Gordon. This is not my place. Uh, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Sorry. What a joke. Have you seen any of this stuff going on here? Do you have any idea what's going on? What's this? Pre-cooked bacon. Pre-cooked from when? It's dated. They, they do but it every day, just about. Right? No, they don't. When was that cooked? That's not today. If they did, honestly, let's see what it says. 1031. We're in November the 6th now. This is insane. Look at that in there. Don't you drain that, or it just sits there in its blood? And in here? That's a freezer. What is that? What's that noise? That's the fan. What a nightmare. <sighs> and Karen, you've got no idea that this is going on like this? What is that in there? That's dishwater. No, that's french fries in there. Fries? Why is the water so dirty? Nobody didn't change it. Sorry? Nobody didn't change it, sir. But well, you're cooking fries from there tonight in that water. I saw them fill up the fryer twice. It sucks. Where'd you get the ham from? She bought it at the store. Holy crap. It's a spiral cut. They cut it and put it in here. And then uh, use it for side of ham for breakfast. When was the last time this was clean? Ah, uh, last year when I cleaned this, chef. Last year, when we cleaned the oven, we're in November. Last year. Yes, sir. I asked Karen, I said, Karen, we need to shut down so we, we, we got we to gotta do maintenance. Look at the mess. Why have you let it go like this? I didn't know that they were doing things that were not Karen, that proper. You... No, but let, listen to me, Jeff. This is the bullshit, the guy. Okay, let's tell him the truth here. Okay, I asked for some new equipment. I can't get no new equipment. Why not? I've been here for four years. I've been asking for new equipment. I can't work with this shit here. Look, look at that. I'm fucking pissed. I've been asking for this. I asked for new equipment. How long do you think this shit's gonna last? It ain't gonna last forever. I'm just so fucking. Shut up with every damn thing. I can't get no help. Me and Jill pulled you out of this. And now I ask for some help, for some equipment that you can't spend on it, but... But I this is working, and that's auction. working. Look at this shit. Look at this. Let's, uh, oh, geez. Um, do you know how to say all these? How do you pronounce that? Sufgar. <laughs> um, You've been here a long time. You must right. know the lingo. Sufgar tafel. A lot of people must point to what they want to order, right? Yes. Or just pick up the last line. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Koningsberger Klops. Wow. And how long has this uh, menu been running like this? Uh, since the beginning. Oh, 13 years ago? Yes. Stop. Yes. Seriously? Yes. Uh, let's start off with, go for the scallops. Okay. Let's do the beer batter, the sauerkraut. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, and Absolutely. throw the uh, vegetarian mushroom ravioli in as well. Wonderful. Okay, great. I'll keep hold of the menu for now. Okay. Thank you, honey. Sear it in first. Whoa. Yeah. Almost lost it. Regroup. Regroup. Where is Missy? I'll bring it right That's out. Mr. Ramsey's first. Red pepper beurre blanc. Yes, sir. Our seared diver scallops with a red pepper beurre blanc. Wow, thank you. 
And scallops are normally round, right? Yes, they are. We have beautiful sea scallops. I'm not sure why they cut it up today. No, nah, nor am I. Oh, well. Excellent. Okay. Thank enjoy. you very much. Looks like the dogs chewed them. I mean, seriously. That's rancid. What's up with that one? Excuse me? Would you like me to give me any comments back to the chef? Comments? Yeah, those shit. Thank you. Yeah, terrible. We'll have Val take care of it for you. Who's Val? Me. I like the way you talk about yourself in the third person. Sear diver scallops. Um, Tastes like shit. Tastes like shit, really? Wow, OK. Any specific kind of shit, or just No. Diarrhea. No shit? Oh. These here are the sauerkraut and baktig. And are these uh, edible flowers or not? They are. Chrysanthemum seeds. They are. Mm -hmm. OK, great. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Dear, oh dear. They are terrible. I mean, the food is so dated. It's extraordinary. They look like a pair of camel's bollocks. Hmm. This I have here is the mushroom cream. Delicious. Taro and cream. Wow. I mean, what a fucking mess. Mm. There she is. Fucking hell. Val. Val. Yes. Delicious. I mean, you're fucking, kidding me. No, no, I'm fucking delicious. Seriously. Really good. Seriously? No, the flowers I'm all about. Ah, oh, you had me going there for a whole second. I thought it was all about the food. I, I... Maybe next course. Jonathan, the flowers are absolutely delicious. The flowers? And this menu doesn't change every decade. It's the same menu that's been on for 13 years. Jonathan doesn't Except change the much. Oh, sorry, I asked you a question. Lisa always answers. Go on, you... you... Jonathan Except doesn't change much. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. No, you, you answer Melissa's question first, then I'll go back to Melissa. You said, this doesn't change but once a decade, and I said, Jonathan doesn't change much. Right. Um, you've been here a long time. You've seen the place uh, in decline. Um, what's the big issues here? A little disorganization. Um, things unclear. Yeah, uh, nothing consistent. Yeah. And, you know, one puts the other on edge, and we get the brunt end of it. Lisa's listening to every word you're saying. I, I can barely hear you. No, no, I was just talking to Mr. OK, I'm sorry, I'll leave. No, no, do whatever you need to do. Um, what's the worst thing she's ever done to you? Uh, smack me on the back of the head and in front of the customers. Seriously? In front of the customers? Not hard, but still uh, demeaning. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah. Damn. So there was under-seasoned? Over-seasoned? Under-seasoned. Really? Which? Everything. It's private. What do you mean it's private? This is my bedroom. Uh, well, but this is off limits. It's got a lock on it. It's like a storage closet. But if I'm paying for the room, I'd like to get into my wardrobe. Well, you're not paying for that. You're paying for everything else. Well, then. Really? <laughs> We've got these little things you can put your suitcase on. But in what's in here? My clothes. Your clothes? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Seriously. So it's you... very inconvenient when there are people here and I can't get to my clothes, but I live with it. Um, I want to hang my clothes oh. in my wardrobe. 1840. We, we use hooks. Hooks? Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't you get me a key to open this? I need to hang my, uh, my jacket. Um, you'll just have to use a hook. <laughs> um, once again, this is a rental. You're renting me a room. I'm here to help you, and I'd like to use my wardrobe. Mm-hmm. Can I have a look inside then, please? Because I'm just worried in case you put somebody in there. There you go. <laughs> These are all your clothes? Mm -hmm. Literally all. That's it? That's it. Well, there's a few jackets in the wardrobe upstairs. So you have another. Right above wardrobe. us is another room. In another room that you mm -hmm. rent out with a padlock on? Mm hmm. Come on. You're paying $130 for the owner's clothes to stay in the wardrobe. That's a first for me. Congratulations. I feel really uncomfortable about having my wardrobe full of all your clothes. I'll... I can cover it up, but it stays locked, so you can just ignore it. Can I just have half of this, then? Do you mind? Oh, OK. Um, Shelly? Shelly? <laughs> How much shit can one get <laughs> into the wardrobe? Gordon wanted uh, you to bring some of those clothes and things down. Just put them in my office, OK? Oh, hi. Uh, oh, my. Do you see Karen wearing this stuff? No, Karen wears about two outfits. What do you mean she wears two outfits? 
I've never seen her in anything other than what she's wearing in denim and beige. It's like garments from the Civil War. And do you ever go through this stuff, Karen? Do you ever think, wow, I'll change colour today, maybe a bright colour with red or blue? Seasonally. Seasonally. Mm -hmm. So this is your fall look now. This is this is how we head into winter. In the summer, it's usually denim or a beige. Denim. Okay, so no no white after Labor Day then. Never. Never. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No problem. <sighs> wow, this is crazy. I mean, I've never met such a basket case like this in all my life. I mean, the place is cluttered, and it's almost like her belongings are everywhere. You turn left or right, there's either a basket or an item of Karen's clothing. What is that? Uh, <laughs> oh, pillowcases. What's in here? Looks like a blanket. More baskets. More baskets, of course. My room is cluttered. And here, look at that in there. Oh my God. Look at all this stuff. Fuck. <laughs> How could you fit all that in there? That is, um, Definitely took skill. Where is she? Downstairs in the dining Ask her to come up with you, please. This is insane. Karen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Uh, look at all this stuff. Shoes, handbags, scarves. Just smell them. Oof. It smells like my shoes. <laughs> but they stink, my darling. They reek. You can't Let smell. Let me smell your shoes. <laughs> no, you they, smell they, they, smell, they smell like uh, like my shoes, yeah. They shouldn't be in my room. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, in my mind, you rented everything except this wardrobe, which I Well, you didn't tell me that when you took my money. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Do you have a program that you clean floor by floor? A program? No. No. Uh, where is my room to... What to is that? Is your Jesus. room? No, what's that up there? Who sits here? <laughs> is it a fucking tea party for rats or Stuart Little in for dinner tonight? What the fuck is that? Oh. What is it, like, pet corner? We drop our cats off for dinner here? <laughs> Jesus. Man. Who does this? You care to join me? Come on. <laughs> Go for it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's, let's sit sure. at the veranda. Let's talk about your cleaning habits. I don't think I can fit right here. No, no, I, I'm, okay. my, 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 my butt's way bigger than yours. So take a seat. May we have some menus, please? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah Absolutely. So what in the fuck is going on? I actually said something about that, but, you know. You comfy? Absolutely not. No. All jokes apart, forget the mice party, tea parties, two little so fucking hang out. What is the biggest problems here? Because I'm Things not... Things like this, the mold, the... The mold? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got rid of the dust. What do you mean, the mold? Where's the mold? Oh, right here. Yeah, take, take to the mold. Okay. okay. Thank you. Excellent. Let's start this way. But where? Let's go this way. We're going up. First. <sighs> mold. I guess it starts, I don't know exactly where it comes, but it comes from somewhere on the shower curtains. I asked her, can we change it? There is mold. Do you tell the owner to change these out? Yes, sir. And any response? She'll get to it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Come over. Is that mold? That is mold. Yes, I said that. That's mold. See it? Mm-hmm. Bloody hell. When was all the linen last changed? Look at the color of this. How much sweat is on there? Oh, Look. man. Oh. Look at the color of that. So that's what that is, sweat? That's sweat. And then, is that a, is that a tube television? How old? Uh, you, have you ever heard of a flat screen? Yeah, I got five. You, you've got five flat screens? At my house. For, uh, what a mess. What's that in there? What? A empty box of tights? Silk perfections. Jesus. 
Does the owner ever come into these rooms? Since I've been here, I've probably seen her in here maybe once. Once upon a time, these were white, right? You see these? Look at the color of them. How gray and dirty. God, they stink. Oh, you can tell. This pool's have been white. Oh, I was, man. I, I, I was worried about your eyes for a second there. Where's my room, please? 201. Please tell me it's not worse than this one. 201. Bloody hell. What a mess. Dust everywhere. And all this, what is this? Terrible. Girl. How are you doing? You found all the nasty. No. Oh, no. I thought that the curtains were gold. <laughs> no. For real. They were supposed to be white. It's the last time we dusted in here. It's a bit dusty in there. What's that there? Something is growing up there. Yeah. Can you see that, or is it me? Can I, you see I, that from I, there? I can see it. Wow. Yeah, I just read right there. We missed I know you're one. both wearing glasses. I just want to make sure you can see it. <laughs> it's wow. Not, it's not real easy to see for me. How'd you get that down? Well, usually well, we, have we a, use we have that. A long pole, long duster. Pole. And where is yeah. the pole? It's, it's right in the uh, back here. I'll be right back. Wow. Well, now you've made everything dusty down here. I've made it dusty. No, you haven't cleaned it. Yeah. Supposing that falls on a customer's head, what would you do? I don't, I don't think that it will, actually. You don't think it will? No. Well, it's been oh. up there for about six months. It seems to oh, so be know. growing, actually. That is disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Brett, shame on you. I know it. Wow. And what's in here? More dust over here, Brett. Look. Is there more? You must have missed that spot, too. There's a big, long, creepy yes, crawler hanging yes, down I, there. Yes, I see that. Wow. We've been closed for the last three right. weeks. When it's so slow this time of the year, we go on a holiday. And when you close, do you normally clean before you close? Or do you come back dirty? Uh, come back uh, the way it is and... Wow. Look at that up there. We're, we're living in a very uh, dusty environment here. That's bullshit. Yeah, OK. Uh, come on, seriously? This is mountain, clean air. Well, that is, I mean, yes. that's, that's all true, yes. Oh, yes. oh there you go. Yeah. There we go. Thank you for that. No problem. I, I didn't expect to clean as I check yeah. in. I know. Oh, my god, there you go. They are gross, right? Don't mess it up too much. It's all going to come down. Well, how long are you thinking of keeping it up there? Oh, shit. We might as well do them all while we're at it. We might as well do them all. Yeah. It's not funny. I've got to get this thing out here. Holy shit. Look at that. Jeez. God damn it, Daphne. Well, Why I'm didn't you fine. get to that? And how long have you owned this place? 15. 15 years? 15 years. Was you that just... the last time it was cleaned? It was clean. You're just good. Just I was... You've, got a, you've got a great eye. Yeah, I can I tell you that. Missed. I've done lots of things on arrival, but I've never quite cleaned shit like that from a ceiling. Yeah. Can I give that back yeah, to you? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, thank you. Um, what's going on here? On the front door, you've got 40 flavors. Yes. Sino samples. Yes. When we're really, really busy, we have a line that goes out the door. Yeah, and stop talking and about this. And if sorry. one person asks for uh, a sample, they will all ask for a sample. And how do you think all those yogurt franchises entice business? They offer samples. So they speculate to accumulate. Sorry, no samples. Sorry, no samples. Who comes up with all these stupid rules? Probably myself. Man, you like kicking the crap out of the locals, don't you? Yes. So I you take it we're not going to get... Oh, there's another one. Yes. There's me thinking that's a flavour. So how long ago did this close? Oh, my God, look how dusty it, that it, is. It's not closed. This is not closed? No, it's not. Stop. It is not. It looks like it's... Oh, no. Bloody hell. Where's the stick gone? Please. Oh, my God. This is monstrous. This is like a cobweb on steroids. Where's the stick gone? She's getting it. So why did you close for three weeks? Uh, I went on a holiday. Wow. And where did you go? Mexico. Wow. Did you enjoy Mexico? Yeah. You we did? really en we enjoyed being uh, together. She only came for a week. She gives me what, what uh, you mean? a week oh, by myself. Say, say, say that again? You go on holiday on your own? I do. Rest for a week, and yeah. your wife comes for the second uh, week? My wife and daughter meet me for the second week. Would you not like to go for two weeks holiday? Uh, well, I would love to if I have a chance. Oh, I see. Right. Um, I just want to yeah. get this thing down here. Have you seen the size of this one? Yep. Holy crap. Is that a keeper? 
Um, let's talk about the food. Um, what do you normally do? Normally we do buffets. Buffets? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's something from the 1980s. So what do we do with the tasting of the buffet? We don't do tastings. You don't do oh, tastings? we don't do tastings. No, why not? Because of the kitchen staff, the setup in the kitchen. Not really selling me on a good wedding side. You can <laughs> I, stay relaxed no, for now, but no. trust me, we're going to taste some food. <laughs> we're going to take a seat, we're going to do mm -hmm. some tastings, and yep. I'd like to see a menu. Um, don't worry, OK? Get this sorted. Okay. You go there, my darling, please. Okay. Probably Thank got you. too many set here. Take a seat, please. Before we do the tasting, is the owner's son here? Jimmy, yes. he's, the, mm -hmm. he's in Jimmy's charge. Here. Mm -hmm. Can we have a quick chat? Yep, yeah, sure thing. Yeah? Uh, colour's dreadful. Reception lobby, awful. And the linens don't even match. There's white and ivory. There's a lot going on at the, on the bar, yeah, too. I'm not sure if that's left yeah. over from another wedding. Dreadful. Jimmy? Yeah? Uh, chef, he'd like to meet you. OK. Hi. You are Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. I spoke to Mum earlier. You yes, are. Let me yes. introduce you to uh, two very special Hi. guests, Roxanne. Hi there, nice Hi. to meet you, nice Roxanne. Meet you. And Eric. Eric. Eric, nice to meet you as well. Um, so, do you have a chef jacket or? I do. Do you ever wear it or? Um, when, only when I deliver food. Deliver? Well, like, well. bring food out to people. Oh, so you just put the jacket on to carry food? Yeah, so I look fancier. <laughs> so, you normally wear a t-shirt to cook? Yeah, yeah and pants. And pants? Oh. Yes. That, that's very kind of you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anything you recommend? I mean, try to sell it a little bit to the bride and groom. Um, there's certain things on there I've never made before. So, uh, that probably Stop doesn't... two seconds. Yes. <laughs> you've got things on your menu that you've never made before. Well, no one's ever ordered them. But you run a restaurant here. Yes. That's not a buffet. No. You, that's I sh plated. I should definitely know how to make them, I agree. Yeah. I've never cooked a filet mignon before. You've never cooked a filet mignon? No. Who cooks it? We've never sold one. Fucking hell. So no one's ever had a wedding and ordered filet? N not since I've been here, not for me. You've got things on here you've never cooked before. You've yes. never cooked a filet. Correct. So just out of interest, filet mignon comes on. Are you going to go to a culinary school? What happens? Maybe Google how to do it exactly. Google? Uh, yes. I mean, I could yeah, do no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Google a filet? Yeah. Just what, to, to watch a, a video? Uh, yes. Our wedding food is really good. Well, I can't wait to taste it. Uh, let's have a look at this and okay, you know, I'll perfect. see you uh, later. Sounds good. Wow, OK, well, sorry about that. After learning Jimmy gets his recipes from the internet, I'm starting to feel like I made a mistake inviting the bride and groom to have their wedding here. So we have a stuffed chicken. To give some options for Roxanne and Eric, I told Jimmy to prepare a selection of dishes. Up first, a chicken dish that I couldn't believe was smothered in soggy cheese. Look at that bit there. It's like my granddad's foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. No wonder grandma used to get upset at night. OK, over medium heat, add olive oil, let it get hot. While Jimmy surfed the internet for how to cook a filet mignon. Let the filets... Let the filets eat a hot pan. We were served a salmon dish. I mean, I wouldn't feed that to my cat. It is bland. It's undercooked. Mm -hmm. it's simply it's raw a in the middle. It's slimy almost. Yeah. And knowing Jimmy had never cooked a filet mignon, trust me, my expectations weren't high. That steak is terrible. That's overcooked. You'd cook better than that at home, wouldn't you? Yeah. Now I know why there's no tastings available. I mean, terrible. Yeah, terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible. I'm embarrassed and I just want to apologise. I was expecting it way better than this. Yeah. I mean, us too, I think. Yeah. Pulling back that ribeye is like pulling back that duvet on my mattress, that stain, and wow, that's strong in alcohol. He's a good wine for this, right? <laughs> Gina claims her hands are tied in the kitchen. So at this point, I don't know who to blame. That rice is mush. Who cooked that? It's like oatmeal. What the fuck? Idaho rainbow trout with the herb risotto. Jesus. What's all the uh, squidgy bits around the outside? Those are all the sauces. All the sauces? Yeah. No. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Ah, is that risotto? Or some of the plaster that your dad left over from building the new lodge? <laughs> it's still got the scales on it as well. Why would you leave the skin that's soggy like some used condom? <laughs> that has to be the worst trout I've ever seen in my entire career. Wow. Does mum and dad see this food? Do they come and have dinner? They hate everything. They hate the 
the dish or? Everything. They don't like the way that she does anything. Then why is she here? When you're in the heat of the season, we kind of just take what we can get. You can't keep on changing your chef every year. I, I agree. We do it every year. Fuck it now. If this place wasn't run by your parents, would you work here? Hell no. Not, not for a second. I don't want to run a restaurant. How keen are you to get out? I, I'm desperate. And if you got a job tomorrow, would you be off? Yeah, I feel like I've kind of done my part, the part that I told them that I would do. You're obviously concerned, and you're doing it more out of affection as opposed to you really want to be here. Sounds like your mind's made up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get them out, please. Would you both come out, please? Both of us? Would you come out? Both of you. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Jeff Ramsey, nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Wow, uh, so I'm lost for words. What feedback did you get throughout my lunch? I didn't say anything didn't throughout say a this. Word to Nothing me. at all? Not yet. Course by course, you didn't even talk to them? No. Why not? I figured that was what you were gonna do when we were done. I was hoping at least you're gonna say something to them so they can up their game, no? I actually expected you to say something, and I thought, well, should I ask? Or I kept thinking, okay, it must be okay. I haven't heard any comments. Don't you want the truth? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Do you know the owners hate your dishes? No. You don't know the owners hate your food? No, I did not know that. You've got no idea that Dee Dee can't stand the curry? No, I never knew that. I feel like people have been lying to me. Do you know, I don't blame her. Let me, I, I'm going to be frank. The ribeye was overcooked. It looked like we'd opened at the bottom of the dishwasher and that plug was blocked with bits of floating grease. Oh, <laughs> oh God. You may find it funny, but you're no, not no, a chef. No, it was funny the way you just described no, the No, but art, I mean... No, I'm not trying to laugh about the real No, no, but uh, fucking hell. Look where we're sat, though. If you phoned me on my telephone in the car and asked me what do you think I'm going to be having, I would have never have mentioned those dishes. You did nothing to blow me away. I'm trying to use the ingredients that Dave asked me to use. A lot of it is cost, so I was tied to that. Art, you're the sous chef. Is there any synergy in what you're doing? No. You're just doing it to survive. No one's thinking long term. It's stifling the business. I'm amazed you're still open. Zach, I don't know if you've got one foot in, one foot out. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, I've not been super invested, that's for sure. Get the fuck out of here. Where is this oh, fucking freezer? It's around here. Uh, Where do you keep the frozen? Right down here, Gordon. Let's have a look. So this is the frozen bit here. What's that? Frozen avocado. Are we not in Florida? And you can't make fresh avocado? Dude, this is fucked. Where's the freezer? Excuse me. Main walk-in. Wow, wow, wow. When was the last time you were in here? I come in here once a week at least, and I once a kinda, week. you know, just kind of look around or whatever. What is this? Wow. Oh man. Look at that. The water's gone slimy. And you come in here once a week. Yeah. What is that? Oh boy. Fucking hell. What is that? Pina colada. Pina colada. Why it's like that, I have no idea. It's festered. It's, it's, it's off. It's bubbling. Oh, man. That's terrible. Fuck. Trash, please. <coughs> trash. <coughs> James, trash, please, now. Pina colada. Right down the drain. By the bucket load in the walk-in fridge. I mean, who in the hell operates like this? Gordon, this is Chef Ben's job. He's the executive chef. He's the executive chef. And you made him that executive chef, right? Sure I did. How'd you feel now? Uh, What's that? Tuna burger. That's from the burger? Yes, it is. Oh, my god. Seriously? Bacon. It's gone. It's, it's, it's off. Fresh produce on top of old produce. Moldy. And this one? Ribeye. Ribeye defrosting. Yeah. What is this? 
Those are the smoke grilled chicken wings before they go onto the char grill. Oh my god. And what is in this one? You are kidding me. So underneath in that bucket's what? Cooked product. Cooked chicken. Mm -hmm. And on top of it is what? It's raw. Raw chicken on top of cooked chicken. I had them for lunch. I am at a fucking loss. Do you know the best way out of this? Is just to shut the place down. It's not an option for me. What's that in there, Ben? Those are marinated chicken wings. Yeah. To be smoked. Underneath, next box. Those are smoked. Rule number fucking one. Ben. I know. Chef, I didn't do it. You know, I turn my back for a minute, and this is the kind of shit that happens. And I walked in, and it was bedlam. He's telling me this is your fault. You've got no idea. I am at an absolute fucking loss. I can't work like this. This is huge. You now are running a restaurant cross-contaminated. What was the ambition? Well, you know, we just love, love the beautiful river. And we just thought it would boom, you know, because of the beauty. Yeah. It's really one of the most beautiful spots in Idaho. Right. And people just loved it. So there was like a two hour wait every night. How long ago was that? That was our first two years. Wow. Like so our first two years. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So it got off to a great start. What happened then? We hired another chef and then people got mad because we changed the menu. After that, we had a tragedy. After the tragedy, my parents just kind of checked out. It was a really hard time for my family, and um, I think it showed in the lodge. You know, they couldn't put their whole heart into it because their heart was broken. So are you in love with it as much today as you were 10 years ago? I'm very proud of it, and I love it, but I'm really tired. Right. We've been here a long time, you know. Our goal is to have the best restaurant in the area and, and then 100 miles around, but. Through the years, we've just uh, lost interest in that. And he's really tired, you know? He doesn't want to work that hard anymore. Right. So you're the restaurant manager? Yes. And where did you train? I worked at a few really nice places when I was living in San Diego. That was where I, probably where I learned the most. Oh, so you went away and then came back? I've been gone for about nine years, yeah. Right. OK, I'm going to get to the room and pack. Um, Zach, why don't you show me to the room? Yes, sir. Oof. God, it stinks, <laughs> yeah. no? What's that smell of lemon? I'm not sure. God, that smell of lemon. I mean, why on earth would you need air freshener in here with such beautiful air? Woof. Yes. The smell do. in here is crazy, no? Let me just quickly open the window. Oh, I guess the back of your throat, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, is someone going to make up the beds? They are made. I've seen dog baskets uh, better. How old are they? They put in about five years ago. Bloody hell, seriously. Yeah, oh, they're shit. definitely old. Is that blood? I don't think so. What is that? I'm not sure. It's a stain anyway. Wow. OK, so um, I'll be down in a couple of minutes for a bite to eat. Sounds great. Yeah, what would you recommend? She does the rainbow trout here. What's her name? Her name is Gina. OK, great. Thanks for the update. Pleasure to meet you. Um, thanks, Zach. Wow. The view is breathtaking, but the colour is depressing. I mean, honestly, everything's dark and grey and dingy. And the pillars, look at those, how uninviting. Like the dog sat on it for the last 10 years. Really do smell. What is that? It's like a piece of candy stuck on a pillow. That's terrible. It's almost like they've fallen out of love for this place. And look at that. Ugh, a big, dirty stain. It's sad because it's almost on the verge of being neglected and you've got two owners that have clearly run themselves into the ground. You think of a lodge in this area, you think of something that's cosy, that's warm, inviting. This is depressing. Oh, dear. Always a great way to find out how often the place is cleaned. Check out the filters. Oh, dear. That's... That's 15 years of dust. <coughs> Shit in there. Turn this thing off. <coughs> it doesn't take much to clean that. Hence the reason why this room stinks of air freshener. <coughs> I'm really uneasy about just being in here. The smell is appalling. Everything feels dirty and just 
and I'm not convinced that even the bathrooms are that clean. I'll run a quick test. Quick bacteria test. There's a communal bathroom that I am uncertain about. When this thing reads 30, it indicates that it's a sort of um, a, a decent level of hygiene. Basically, it's clean. Anything over 30, then it gets into the danger zone. This is where the smell is really bad in here. There's crap everywhere. It's just so unhygienic. To get a good reading, rub the swap underneath the mat. The smell under here is appalling. In these crevices, there's dirt. That is gross. That is gross. That is disgusting. Snap it, let the liquid go down. Give that a shake. In. Holy crap. No. No. I'm unconvinced that this place is clean. Everything smells. It's very difficult for you to identify the smell, but in here, it really stinks. So, just, it's just a smell from here. Stains everywhere. And what scares me is the fact that the kitchen took a year to get cleaned. God knows what this tub so pretty gross. Now, pop that in there. I'm not sure when this place was clean properly. In. Oh my God. Karen. Is Karen in here? Karen, just come upstairs, please. Two seconds. Please, let's go. Quick. Come in. I've just done a swab test with the carpet. I told her the smell is gross. Anything above 30, you're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices, and it's not fit for customers. What do you think the reading is? 100. 100. 50. 50. 60. 70. 70. 803. 803. Oops. 803. Oops. Burn it. That's not an oops. That's a oh no. 803. Wow. This is just the carpet. You can't be that bad. We get a lot of bikers, bicyclists, Karen, and hikers. You're paying $130 to get out of bed and step on a disgusting, stinking carpet. It smells like there's crap all over the floor. Probably because there's crap on the floor. Probably. Could be. What does that mean, could be? My first shift here, you were in the bathroom, and I think you had an accident on the floor, on the mat. What? Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. There have been times when I have had diarrhea, but it doesn't happen very often. But, um, no, I, I didn't realize that there was that problem. Is that? Um, who knows? It's been here a oh. long time. It, but it's like Freddy Krueger's hat. <laughs> who, 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 who's is this? It's just there for anybody that wants to borrow oh, it. Oh, I see. And does anyone borrow that? Karen? They haven't no. yet. <laughs> Interesting. Another one as well. And what are these? <laughs> they're for sale. They're, are they for sale? Yeah, see? Summer hats. And how much are these? Three, three, to, three to 20. Three? Depends. And this is how much? Uh, maybe not more. Whatever you want to offer. Well, We're very flexible. I'm not too sure if this is my style, and uh, oh, that's dusty That's there. a pretty special one. Um, why is it so special? Because it's got... Full of dust. Yeah, West Virginia. Uh, and this much... is almost heaven. How much is that one? It's whatever you offer. Are these secondhand? No, not that. Right. Some things are, but not that. <laughs> Man, it's your business. Are you okay. selling many? Are you, are you busy? No. We don't really sell a lot of hats. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. You've got customers in already. Hello. This is my Hi, friend, customer. Sarah. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Oh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, well, good to see you. Nice are you, you. you joining us for lunch today, or are you...? I have no idea. I'm up to whatever. I'm here. I do... Um... What does that mean? She's just a family friend. Oh, fan... a, OK, right. So you're not a customer. I'm so sorry. Right. I'm not a customer. Is this a convenience store, or...? This is a is dining it... room. 
Wow, I mean, it's very claustrophobic in here. It is. Bits and bobs of everything. And those um, freaky dolls, well, what are they for? They are sort of uh, souvenirs. Oh, are you selling lots? We do, mm-hmm. Wow, a bit dusty. A lot of people who come here have children. They're looking for something to take back. What about this one here, the collector's choice? How much is this one? I think 25. <laughs> Jesus, so dusty. I didn't know they were for sale. You didn't know they're for sale? How much does this room make a month? Um, I can't give you an exact figure because we record right. the purchases in with the restaurant sales. Yeah. But I would say 15% of sales. 15%? Mm-hmm. Who drinks all this cider? Uh, no, actually, we use that in the restaurant. Jeez. Well, but we sell a lot of it. It's good in the summer, June, July, and August. Now, my daughter made those. Right. Uh, what are they? They're little hats for little children. It's full of dust and hair. And what's this? Hot pads. Handmade. Hot pads? Mm-hmm. Is that $60? Who buys this? People with children. I hope people with children. <laughs> That's full of dust inside. Well, you have to wash it before you use it. Look. And what's this? Uh, this made? is Sarah's journal. So she keeps a journal? Yeah. Wow. So it's, uh, it's almost like a novel. It is. And she puts sermon notes and telephone numbers and prices, wow. and she calls it her brain. Oh, public bathroom, decorate with baskets. Yeah, wow. she decorated the baskets up in my washroom. Oh. Oh, dear. OK. Wow. So, um... All right. What's that there? That is a bottle holder. You can put, like, a water bottle in oh. it. So it's, it does appeal wow. to hikers. I thought it was a bicycles. jock strap. Do you know what that is? Oh, you know, it could... It looks uh, like a jock yeah. strap. I hadn't thought of that, wow. but you got a point. <laughs> What's that down this, there? That's our bread. And then behind that is the closet where our potatoes are kept. But are, are, the, are the loaves for sale, too? If someone asks for them. And hikers do sometimes, but normally it's... Um, it's just for the breakfast. We have toast. Are you expecting a lot of people? That's how much we go through in a few days, believe it or not. Really? Unfortunately, they're out of date as well. We couldn't. Are you serious? Second of November. OK, you're right. Today's the 6th. Oh, that's very embarrassing. Yeah. You OK? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm OK. When were the chickens roasted? Two days ago. That's the last of them. Why do we roast them two days in advance? They're delivered twice a week. They're cooked off the delivery day. What kind of impression do you think you're sending out to your customers when that chicken's roasted two days before they come? I... 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 When do you think this chicken was roasted? You oh, my it. goodness, I hope it was today. It was roasted two and a half days ago. I am not happy to hear that at all. That was going to be dry as a dog's bone. But anyway, uh, try to enjoy. OK, thanks so much. I don't feel well anymore. Thank you, I was dry. <laughs> They've been coming for 12 years. You need to just seriously just focus on getting this night done. And they sit there all schmuck. I want to kick them out right now. Do you want us to take the food back? No. I mean, this is like so disappointing that you guys feel this way. I thought we were friends, and I, I thought you would have maybe told us if you felt the food sucked that much. You know, it's really, gosh, I feel, I feel like I want to pass out right now. Fuck it now. Um, so, the lady you were just talking to over there mm -hmm. had no idea her chicken was roasted two and a half days ago. It was roasted two and a half days ago? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, it's no. not my business with him No, I'm just, I'm just, he God, you two are that. so defensive. There's a thousand different ways to make spets. I've got nothing to do with that. I'm talking and, about the chicken. You no, know, I mean, I'd, I'd love to find out the proper Chicken, way. I'm talking to you about the chicken. Well, we Making an excuse gotta, again. Gotta, nothing, yeah, focus on it. nothing resonates with you, does it? Nothing. It does, certainly honey, does. It Absolutely, does. it all does. What in the hell? Ah, I just wanted to keep it together tonight. That's all. <laughs> uh, crazy. Are you like manic or something? I'm manic. Yes, I am right now. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Uh, something between shitty and awful. What does it mean when you feel like an elephant sitting on your chest? Oh, you don't have a heart. You can't have a heart attack. Are you hungry, Gordon? What is this? That is bacon. Should be on a different shelf. And this here? That shouldn't be thrown there either. What's that? Beer batter for the beer batter shrimp. Should be thrown out. And this one? Let me just stand that on top. Sure, put it right on top. What is all this? That was 
bacon. Oh, no, no. I mean, that's okay. No, well, why is it in your fridge like this? I dropped it one shelf below. Instead of putting it where it belonged, I put it on the corner. Normally, these things are pretty orderly. This is a complete clusterfuck. And what's that? Corned beef. Let's, let's, get, let's get outside. Sure. Lisa, let's go outside. What is going on? The whole operation is screwed. The kitchen, shocking. The line, disaster. Cross-contaminated. Raw meat, cooked different, meat. Different foods. Absolutely. Shit everywhere. And then the biggest asset, where all the money is, is downstairs in the wine cellar. Who's maintaining standards here? He is. I cannot believe what you've just done in there. I really enjoy it. You can't enjoy I that. I swear to God, I do. That's... I, I must be, like, cuckoo in the head or well, something. Well, you need help. Maybe. He does. You need to wake up.